Hello, 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 Internet. Today, we are going to be looking at dealing with spreadsheets with Python, and use, we're going to be using pandas. And we're going to be looking at a real-life example, or an example of a real-life example, for example. I have here, in the left spreadsheet, a list of potential customers. So, pretend we're a business, and we have a load of customers. These are just metal bands, um, with Carly Rae Jepsen at the top. We have an account code and we have a customer. The middle column we have the spends for those customers and their margins for 2018 and then in the right we have 2017. Now you'll notice that in 2017 and 2018 there is two different numbers of accounts. There might be different uh, accounts in each one because some people have spent in one year, some have not spent in the other years. This is a real sort of problem that you could face. It would take forever to sort through these sort of things manually. Um, and this is just a very simple example that we can go through now. So what are we doing? Well, we're going to take the spends from 2018 for each customer and the spends for 2018 and we're going to match them up so that we basically have a spreadsheet at the end that's going to say uh, customer spend 2018 and then spend 2017, right? So we can see from each year who spent what and who hasn't spent, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, without further ado, let's open up a terminal application and navigate to this, uh, the area we have them. So I have it on the desktop uh, in a folder called Spreadsheets. So I'm already there actually, so I don't need to do that. I don't know what I'm doing. So we're already there, I have my spreadsheets. They're all saved as CSV files. Okay, now that we have Atom open, we're going to first want to install or import Pandas if you don't have pandas installed, um, you simply have to say uh, sudo h pip install pandas, you know the drill. Let's get those files. All we're going to say is we're just going to get the file name, so 2018.csv. The next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to read the CSV file. Now, we could have done this in one step, but I'm just going through things to show you all the steps you need to do to actually use pandas to work with um, spreadsheets. So because these are CSV files, we're gonna say read CSV, and we're gonna say year 2018. Once we've done that, we're going to now access each column. Recall back, we have a customer account column, we have a spend column, we have a margin column, and we have this account code column. And we've named them at the top. Now, pandas is really useful because we can just say dot whatever this column's called. Now this is useful because the columns might be in a different order for whatever reason, or it might not be easy to do it. So what you might need to do is you might need to yourself manually import these column names to work with more complex spreadsheets, but there's something we can do really easy. Let's say accounts uh, 2018, CSV 2018, and we're gonna say account. Now what this has done is this has now got all of our accounts into one column, into one uh, list, sorry. And um, we're going to do the same for the other stuff as well. So let's just go to the next example, actually, and we'll say um, for customer. Now, the, the column title was customer, so no prizes for guessing that we're going to type in dot customer. And I'm going to quickly go ahead and do the others now so we're not waiting. But we're going to create some empty lists. And the reason we're going to create some empty lists is because we're going to put the data into these lists in a certain way. So what we're going to have is we're going to have basically in spend 2018, we are going to have the account and we're going to have the spend. So we're going to have that sort of thing. And then we're going to do the same thing for spends 2017. And for all accounts, we're going to do something slightly different. And this is just so we can match things up and then create that final spreadsheet that we're after. And you'll see what we're doing as we go along. The next thing we're doing is we're going to fill these uh, lists with things. So for account customer in zip, zip's a great function in Python. I like it because it makes the code easier to read. Um, and that means we can iterate through two lists simultaneously. Customer, oh my days append and we're going to say account customer and then we're going to say zero zero why are we saying zero zero well think about what the we're going to finally have the spreadsheet that we're going to finish with we're going to have the account code 
the reason we have an account code is because um, throughout time, throughout the business, we might have customers that change their name, but we need to have a way of constantly identifying them throughout time. So we have an account code, which is an immutable string that we can easily identify each customer with, regardless of what their name or any changes that they have. So we have their account code, we have their name, which will be their current name, and we'll have the spends for 2018, which we're going to initialize at zero, and the spends for 2017, because what we've done here is we're going to have this full list of all the customers, and then we're going to iterate through the spends for 2018 and the spends for 2017 and put them in their right places. Next, we are going to say for account spend in zip accounts 18 and in spend 2018 CSV. You can guess what we're doing here. We're going to say spends 2018 append account spend. We're going to do the exact same thing for 2017. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. What we now need to do, go through the entire list of customers, put in the spends in the correct places. We're going to say for I in range len so it's going to get the length of whatever we pass to it in this case it's the uh, customers array which we filled with all of our customers this over here has been filled here with all of our customers next we're going to say for j in range um, spends 2018 and while i'm here i'm also going to make another of these loops so for j in range spends 2017 we want to say if string now this is something I was mentioning earlier the reason I put string here is because the way this imports it doesn't necessarily import it in the data type you want which is why you might want to do this sort of thing here where we loop through things before putting it into an array that we're going to use you might want to um, change the data type check if it's empty that sort of thing which is why I do it this way but because I haven't done any of that, we're lazy. I'm just going to say string. And we're going to say um, for J. Um, and then remember we have um, a list of lists in spends 2018. So we have, what do we have? Well, we have J is the whatever row we're on. And then we'd have the second bit. And what we're looking for, we're looking for the account. If that is in customers I of zero, why is it I of zero? Because in customers, we have the first point of the array. The first entry is zero. And of course, I is just the row where we're currently at. Okay, so if that's the case, that those things match, what do we want to do? Well, we want to say customers. I, two. So this is um, because we're on 2018, we're going to here. So zero, one, two is equal to spends. 2018 J and we're not saying zero we're saying one because in the 2018s one we have zero one we have J for the row and we have one let's get into the spend so we're matching things based on the account code of each one and then if the spend's right we're putting this spend in that place right there and we're going to do the exact same thing for 2017 except we're going to put the um, position of the array ever so slightly different. There is another thing that we might want to do, and we might want to check if the customers are unique. So I'm going to say unique customers, and I'm going to say for oh my days, I'm going to say for element in customers, if element is not in unique customers then we want to put it in unique customers, basically. So unique customers append, and then we're going to append element. To export this, what we use is we say uh, df, df stands for data frame, it's just a standard thing to have, pd.dataframe, then we're going to take the uh, list we want to put in, in this case it's unique customers, and we're going to tell the uh, data frame what we want to call each column so remember so unique customers is basically this customers array except for we've taken out all the duplicate customers so we have account customer spend 2018 and spends 2017 so we have four things we're going to put in there so 
we're going to say uh, columns, not column, and we're going to say account customer spend 2018. Whoopsie daisy. And then we're going to say, you guessed it, spend 2017. Okay. Um, there we go. Then we're going to say data frame to CSV. And we're going to give it a name, customer spends dot CSV. And let's see what's false. Okay. So this should now work if we go back to our terminal application. We can say Python and we call this main, so Python main.py. And if we just quickly press run, it's done it. And if I press list, we now have that uh, new one here, the new file which we've just created. So we can look at customer spends. Let's open it up. Here we go. Uh, we'll make it a little bit bigger so everyone can see. Right, what we have is we have the account. We have the customer, the spend for 2018, the spend for 2017. So we can see that Carly Ray Jepsen spent in 2018, but didn't spend in 2017. And we can see that there are customers who have spent this year, but haven't spent last year. Um, that is the sort of thing we wanted to do. And imagine we had 600 accounts. We've just done it really, really quick with Python. So thank you very much for watching.